Sipo, this year you're going to be riding the Epic with five-time winner Christoph Sauser. Before you, you tell us about that, can you just give us a bit more uh, info on your background and how you were introduced to the sport of mountain biking and how you've worked your way up the sort of ranks? I started mountain biking late 2009. I saw Sango and uh, Christoph and Berry riding around the Kaiman streets. And uh, I went to Sango, asked him how can I join the program. And then he said, no, 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 we are not have uh, mountain bike yet, so we'll start mountain biking soon so you can come and start in the program. Then that's how I started mountain biking. But before, I was a soccer player, so sport was not new, but uh, mountain biking was completely new. So that's how I started mountain biking. So you obviously got the, the, the cycling bug. What is it about the sport that you really love? You know, cycling, it's more like individual sport. It's not a team thing where you depend like in turn so football players to, to win the game. You all by yourself, you have to train as hard as you can to perform better. And uh, I believe in working hard for myself to, to achieve better and get uh, nice results. And uh, it's more, it's not all about winning. It's about having fun on the bike and uh, have a good lifestyle. Now, your cycling partner this year, as I mentioned, Christoph Sauser, is a Swiss, um, a lot taller than you. Do those sort of things uh, come into play when you're riding as a team? Uh, yeah, 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 especially with Christoph, because he's taller than me and I'm more shorter. So more. What are your individual strengths then? Christoph is uh, good on the climbs, flat, technically, and uh, I'm good on the climbs and uh, technically, which, which is I'm not that good on the flat. So. I can always hide from him, just sit at the back and uh, just go. And on the climbs, I can just go as hard as I can and uh, on the technical. So I definitely think he will help me more when it comes to the flats. And uh, really looking forward to, to get the experience because what's more important is the experience. How much cycling have you guys done, to, uh, riding have you guys done together in the past year? We've been training together, I think, since 2012 while I was training for Epic and uh, till last year and uh, we started again last week to train together for Epic but he will be here till the Epic now so we can just keep training until the Epic and get ready. He, he was saying earlier, he was mentioning your fitness, or do you, does that mean you're currently fitter than him? Not really, he's still fit. I mean, Christoph have done I think more than 10 Epics and uh, it's always, if you have done Cape Epic more than twice, as soon as you come to the Epic, even if you are not strong, after two, three days, your body just get back and uh, you just remind the body how strong it was and uh, you just get used to it and he can be stronger than me. For now, I can be strong, but I think before the Epic or at the Epic, he will be always the strongest rider at the Epic, maybe, yeah. Now this year's route, um, what, what do you know about it and also just tell us about the conditions you'll be riding in. Obviously um, temperatures have been a lot warmer uh, this, this summer, it's a lot drier. Uh, I'm sure you guys are taking all of that into account too. You know, it's, it's hard to ride with someone like Christoph. So I've been really stressed about the route, about the, the weather or anything. I've been stressing about getting strong and uh, getting ready. So I've been really checked the profile. As I know, Christoph knows the profile really well. And uh, if I have Christoph on my side, I don't, have, I don't really need to stress about the route and all the stuff. All I have to stress about is to get ready and uh, hopefully have a good one. Good luck, all the best, Sibyl.